just giving our time to kind of look back to see what background I should get. I am going to put a ticker at the bottom of my video, as you'll see. Um, PayPal is open, candidlykristen at gmail.com. If you want to fund the Kristen Needs a Background Fund, feel free to send some money my way. But all jokes aside, a video here of my top skincare products. These are products that I plan on repurchasing um, whenever I run out. Um, I love these products. I have way more products than this. And I have a lot of new products that I'm trying. So things may change, you know, as the months go on, whatever it is. The thing with skincare is that when you are trying new skincare, it takes a while for you to know if it's working, if it's not working, how you like it, how your skin responds. But all the stuff that I am showing you now, I have used um, for a while. And I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. So I do have this right here you know I have that and so there's not a lot in here I'm just gonna just pull everything out and show you um let's start off with with some stuff with some face washes okay um Glossier okay let me see Glossier Glossier this is the milky jelly cleanser this is one of those things when I got into skincare I kept hearing about it. I was just like, Glossier is everywhere, Glossier is everywhere. The only con about it is that it's online only. No, that's the only con. Another con is that it takes forever to ship. When I tell you it takes forever to ship, it took 10 days to get to me. My husband had ordered it for me with, this is called, it came with the phase one kit, which comes with this, um, the moisturizer and the balm.com. Um, he ordered it like the Friday before the, a week and a couple of days before Mother's Day, it didn't get to me until the day after Mother's Day. So that is a con, and then you only can buy it online. And so I love skincare products where it's a little bit more easily accessible for me, and that way I have the option to get it online or go to the store, like if the store is out, then I can order it online. I don't want the only option to be online. If you guys know anything about me, you know. I don't like online shopping unless I absolutely have to. Unless it's like Amazon Prime, two days, that's fine. Um, but I really, really do love this cleanser. It is amazing. Um, I use it most, when I do do a cleanser and I use it in the morning because it's very, it's a very gentle cleanser. When you wash your face in the morning, you don't need a full on like oil cleanse and foaming wash. I mean, you can, you can, you don't need it, but you can, it won't hurt your face. But I like using this as a very, very gentle cleanser. And so... I also wanted to bring this cleanser in here, which is by Pixie, and this is the Glow Mud Cleanser. And this is, I can't remember the price of this, but this is, to me, this is comparable in terms of the gentleness of it and how it does my skin. Um, this is comparable to me, and it's much more, it's easy, more easily accessible than this because you can order this online from Pixie Target and you can get it in Target stores. I love this. It's a glow mud cleanser. It's a very, very light cleanser. It's not harsh, so it's good. You can easily use it in the morning time, which is what I've been using just to cleanse my face from any dirt that's built up at night. But this is something that just from trying it a couple of times, I knew that it was something I was going to continue to add to my collection. Now, when I first saw it and it said mud cleanser, I was like, okay, this is like something I leave on for a while. No, you just, you know, massage your face for like 30 seconds and then rinse it off. And that's about it. So this is something I will definitely be adding. I like Glossier, but it's, it's something that if I want to order and kind of forget that it's coming, it's one of those. But both of these definitely will be in my skincare rotation as top skincare products. Moving on. Um, the number seven foaming cleanser I love. I love a good foam cleanser. I use a foam cleanser at night after I do an oil cleanse. Foam cleansing, to me, it just gets your face clean. If you're a person where you have very, very dry skin, then I probably would not use a foam cleanser because foam cleansers dry your face out. Washing your face dries your face out in general, but the foam cleanser, think of it like, a, like an extra cleansing shampoo or something. That's generally what a face wash is, like the shampoo for your face. It dries it out. 
but I love a good foaming cleanser, especially if I've been wearing, you know, sunscreen, which you should be wearing anyway. Um, makeup is great because you're getting it extra, you're getting there, you're really clean. But I love number seven's foaming cleanser. One, because you only do like two pumps and you get your whole face. And I've been using this since January. You know, not every single night because I get more cleanser, I try these. But foaming cleansers last you a long time because you don't need a lot of product. You only need like one or two pumps and you can get your whole face and it lathers up really, really nice. But I like the Simple Cosmetics Simple Skin Care also makes one around the same price range. But I've just been using this so it's been, you know, it's that's why it's in this video. Very, very nice. Next up is kind of got mixed up a little bit but we will put these together um mario badescu german um skincare company and it's not all about the koreans you know you know this is korean skincare uh, and pixie i think is british but um mario badescu i had been hearing about mario badescu when i was getting into skincare i was just like i keep hearing this name mario badescu and a friend of mine donna said they make really good products and they're very simple and this is mario badescu's cleaner as you can see I've been using this a ton. I use this in the morning if I want to get my face clean, but I want to do like a little bit more of a lazy routine because I don't need to, you know, do a full on or whatever. Mario Badescu Cleansing Lotion really gets your face um, clean. You can't, it's kind of blinding, you know, because we have the lights on. But I like it because you just put it on a cog swab and I love getting like around the hairline, any crevices, it really gets your face clean. And what I like about Mario Badescu, first off, the packaging is very cheap, so products do not cost a lot of money. You can get this at Ulta, Ulta.com. And it's, no, it's none of those like two-in-one products, three-in-one, whatever. It's a cleansing lotion. It tells you exactly what it does. It basically tells you, you know, helps fight oil and bacteria by disinfecting the skin surface. That's what it is. And then after this, you use like a toner. Next up by Mario Badescu is this drying lotion. I have raved about this before in the past. It comes in a plastic um, bottle and a glass one. I have the glass one, so if you are traveling and you want to you know, you don't want this to break, get the glass one. But what this is right here, there's some pink lotion, calamine lotion, and calamine lotion is used for chicken pox. It dries it out. What this is for, it is for acne, for pimples. I use this when it's that time of the month, I get breakouts like right here, and then I get like a breakout over here. What you do is you put a Q-tip in, and you slide it all the way down here, and it picks up the calamine lotion and the alcohol. You put it on there, and you let it sit, you let it dry, and overnight you rinse it off, and the pimple is going to be l less redness. It's not going to it's not going to disappear, but it's going to be noticeably smaller. So this is not something you use all the time. It's something when you have a breakout or two, and you put this on. Now you don't shake this up. You let the lotion sit at the bottom and the alcohol at the top. Now if it happens to get shaken up, like say you're traveling or whatever, just let it sit and let the pink lotion sit at the bottom. Um, that's the way it works, but I love this. I think if you're a person where you are prone to breakouts, whether small breakouts, you know, just breakouts in general, this is something you should have just at, um, in your collection. Dry that pimple out. Don't let it get worse than what it is. Um, next up is um, a product that when I was buying a lot of um, Korean skincare products, uh, I kept hearing about this and I was like, what the hell? And so I went to Sephora to pick it up and I've been loving it ever since. And it is the Sun and Park Beauty Water. And it's one of those things that is a two-in-one product. You can use it as a cleanser and it tones. And I don't mind that being a two-in-one product because it's one, it's one thing you do right after the other anyway. So if you were going to cleanse your face, the next thing you do would be to tone. But this does both of them. And I have been using this since January. And as you can see, I haven't been, I would have ran out if I would have been using it every single day since then. But I'm trying to preserve it because it is, it's sold at Sephora and Sephora is far away. It's $32 at Sephora, but on Amazon right now, you can get it for $21. So when I run out, I will be ordering it from Amazon because Amazon Prime, free shipping. So I'm going to get it for about $11 cheaper, but I love this stuff because it just works. I love the packaging. It's very simple. It's plastic. I love it. They do. I think Southern Park does make a smaller bottle. I'm not sure, but this is something like when I run out, I will definitely be buying another one. Next up is 
is is is some products by Laneige and Laneige is a Korean skincare and before I got heavily into skincare I had quite a few Laneige products I just wasn't using them and then when I decided to really dedicate you know some time to my skincare and get some really good products I was like let me try these Laneige products and see how they are. Laneige was sold at Target but they are at Sephora. Luckily the prices have not gone up because they're at Sephora which is a good thing. Um, one thing that I really really love is the Water Bank Serum. This is 30 bucks and I'm gonna let you guys know now that really good skincare is going to be pricey. I don't mind investing in skincare because I want to take care of this. And if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you can see that this has improved a lot. Um, but you don't have to drop $32 on serum if you don't want, but I think if you want a really good serum, you're going to drop some money. It's in a glass bottle and it's right down here. This is my second Laneige um, serum. This is like the main one that I use, so I go through it I don't want to say quickly because you don't go through it quickly. It is water-based. I love a good water-based product because you need to hydrate your skin. So any product that is water-based, I really, really love. And speaking of Laneige, one product that I know will always, always, it's my favorite product by Laneige. I've tried a lot of different products. And the Water Sleeping Mask is my all-time favorite product by Laneige. What a sleeping mask is, a water-based sleeping mask, you put it on at night. It's the last thing you put on after your skincare routine. And when you get up in the morning, you just rinse it off with warm water and your skin feels very, very soft. Now, with a sleeping mask, it's not something you, you need to use every single night. I use this about every other night or every two nights. The reason why you don't need to use it every night is because you don't need to use it every night. Um, it's one of those things that you use when you find that your skin needs a little bit of a boost where you need, you know, some more, you know, hydration. You can tell when your skin is dry. You can look at your skin and tell when it needs some, some extra moisture. So this is one of those things you can put on at night after your skincare routine and just going about your business. And I don't think I've been sh saying exactly what these things do. Um, I will get into a toner and I will let you know what a toner does. But the, a sleeping mask is basically... Um, you can replace your moisturizer at night, which is what I do, or you can put this over your moisturizer if you want an extra layer of protection. Um, next up is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream Moisturizer. It is a water-based moisturizer. You can get this at any drugstore. I got one at Walmart. You can get it at Target. It is... I love it. Um, I follow Hey April on Instagram. She's also on Twitter. And I love her because she knows what she's talking about when it comes to skincare. And she is a black woman. And I think that as when you are a black woman, you're taking care of your skin, you want to make sure you're melatonin. You know? Melanin. Not melatonin. Melatonin is a medicine. Melanin is your skincare. <laughs> your skin color. Anyway, Kristen, no, I'm not high. I'm not drunk. But... You want to take care of it. And when she recommends a product, I'm like, let me go get it. It is a water-based moisturizer. And I mostly, mostly use this at night because, you know, I've been out. I've been in the sun. I need some moisture. I need some hydration back. But you can use it in the morning. If you wake up in the morning and you feel like your skin has been kind of dry or whatever, you sleep with a fan on, you sleep with the window open, your skin is going to dry out. So you may want to add this in the morning. Nothing wrong with adding uh, water-based moisturizers in the morning. Um, but I mostly just use it at night. And I love it. I love, 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 love this. I, am, I do plan on doing a video comparing this to the L'Oreal Hydra. Hydra something. Hydro something. I don't know. But they both have the word hydro in it. And I want to compare them and see which one I like better. But this one, I know for sure, for sure. And I probably tell it, you know, which one I like better if this one's in there and this and the other one is not. But I do plan on doing a video comparing the two. Next up are, are, is one product that when I talked about this in a haul, I was like, you don't need to spend this money on an eye cream. You really don't. But I'm a person where, fortunately for me, when it comes to skincare, I can drop what I want to drop on skincare. And it is the Vichy Eye Cream. Kind of hard to see. Um, it is the anti wrinkle and firming care. I love this stuff. I don't think it's. I don't think you're ever too young to start anti aging 
products. I think the sooner you start, the better off you are. It also, genetics also take account into anti-aging. But I really like that this is $45 at Target. It's a lot of money for eye cream, especially if you're a person where you're just getting into skincare or you don't have that kind of money. Now, if you're starting off with a skincare routine and you're looking for eye cream, you don't need to drop this much. There's lots of eye creams from various companies out there that are a lot cheaper than this. I know Honest Beauty has one for like 20 something bucks, and so go that route if you're looking for something cheaper. But I like this stuff. I think if you really like something and it, it's working, then use it, and I find this working. Now the reason why you want an eye cream that is separate from a moisturizer because under the eyes all around here is very sensitive it's a very it's a different type of skin than on the rest of your face it's very sensitive and you want to protect that and when you put eye cream on you want to use this finger your ring finger because it has the least amount of motion so it's kind of hard to control which means you're not going to beat the cream into your face you're going to gently pat it in and when you put on eye cream you're going to put it on and you're going to pat all the way up here all the way over here and even by your brow bone so an eye cream is a must but i really love this one i do have two honest beauty creams that i am using i'm also using i just started using one by mascology the 24 karat gold one if you saw, follow my with kristen account and that eye cream is less than ten dollars so try out that if you really want to try out that i really love this and i will be repurchasing it when i run out next up are two products that they are pricey but I love them and this product to me I got this this I'm on my second bottle and I got my first bottle in January and I ran out of it in June so it lasted me six months that was morning use and night use so twice a day every single day for six months it's $49 and it is the Misha Time Revolution First Treatment Essence Intensive. This is 49 bucks. They do have one that doesn't say intensive and that is 39. Now what is an essence? An essence to me is, is an important product you want in your skincare routine. If you're just starting out with skincare, then I wouldn't worry about it. This is something you're gonna add later on. But what an essence is, it helps regenerate the skin cells in your face. The skin cells in your face take four weeks to regenerate, which is why a lot of times skincare products, it'll say wait three or four weeks to see if something is working because it takes that long for your skin cells to regenerate and take in all the new products you've been trying on your face. So it takes a while for skincare items to see if they're working. An essence helps regenerate those, so it just kind of helps it along. Not do it like a lot faster, but it helps it and helps smoothness with redness with fine lines, all that stuff. An essence is basically like, you know, just making your face be the best, have you know, have your face be the best that it can be. And I absolutely love this. It is one product that, yes, it's pricey, but spending fifty dollars once you know every six months to me is not a big deal to me anyway I love this it comes in a glass bottle it is very comparable to SK2 SK2 is triple the price Sephora has a bottle that is like this tall no not even this tall for 99 bucks at Sephora and you can get this at Target yes you can get it at Target or you can get it at um, Soko Glam I think but you can get it at Target and um, you know, Target is stepping their game up when it comes to Korean skincare. And so check this out at Target. And Target has a really great return policy also. Another thing from Misha, which I saw a review on it and I was very intrigued, and it is the Super Aqua Cell Renewal Snail Cream. Now, snail extract. Yes, that slimy stuff you see on a snail that on the ground, that is exactly what's in here. Now, what snail extract is, is it helps with fine lines and redness. So I don't use this all the time. It is water-based, so I use it like maybe every two nights to add some extra moisture, but I love it. I find that it helps, it has helped a lot with redness. I find that like even my pores have minimized um, some just from using this. This is, I want to say it's between 35 and 40 bucks. Like I said, it's a little pricey, but to me, I think it's worth it. And it's, this is my second jar. It took me about five, mm, four and a half, five months to get through one jar. And that's because I was using it every single night. Now that I'm not using it every single night, it's going to last me a lot longer. So pro there are products you don't have to use every single time you do your skincare routine and you can maximize it especially if it's a pricier product now in essence 
I was using it twice a day for six months every single day. Now I only use the essence at night, so it's probably gonna last me a lot longer. So yeah. And next up is face masks. Now this is just a certain one that I have. I try all types of different face masks. Any, you know, different, you know, different fruits, whatever in there. Face masks to me are something that is the cheapest when it comes to skincare, but there's a lot that it does for your skin. Now a face mask, okay, has essence in it, okay? So you are essentially using a double essence. So if you can't afford a good essence, you know, um, Pixie also makes one. The verdict is still out. I'm just trying it out. There is essence in here. You put this on after you do your serum and you let it sit on for like 20 minutes and you take it off, you don't rinse off, just pat it in. But I love face masks because they are cheap. I think this is $2.50 and they are the one thing that I hoard when it comes to skincare products. So try out some face masks if you're just trying out, you know, um, a skincare routine. And I use face, I try to use face masks like twice a week um, at the minimum. But I really like them because you can put them on, you know, do your um, face routine, put it on, get in the shower, sit in the bathtub, and then by the time you get off, you take it off. But I really like face masks, and it's something that I will continue to buy. Um, next up is one of those things that I have not found a product that works like this, and it is the Pixi Glow Tonic. Anybody who is into skincare, even a little bit, has heard about the Pixi Glow Tonic. My Target only sells this size. I know there's a bigger one, and on Pixi's own website, you can get it with a pump. I may just have to go ahead and do that. But I have never seen a toner work as good as this. And the reason why is because there's a 5% glycolic acid. And what does glycolic acid help with? With redness and smoothies. So it does, it's a little bit of a um, exfoliant, a chemical exfoliant, but not exfoliating enough to over exfoliate. I really like it because it just, it adds the moisture back to my face and that's what a toner does. As if a face wash is basically like a shampoo for your face, a toner is the conditioner. That's why it's very important to add a toner. If you're washing your face every day, get a toner and add it in there to add moisture back to your face. If you're not using a toner when it comes to your skincare routine, you might as well not do anything. A toner is essential when it comes to your skincare routine. But I have not met a toner that works as good as Pixie's Glow Tonic. I think Glow Tonic is their best selling product and I can see why it is amazing. Next up from Pixie is an exfoliator. It is the Peel and Polish. It is a very gentle exfoliator. I don't like really harsh exfoliator with the beads that are, you know, it feels like you're digging rocks into your skin. I don't like those. There's a little tiny beads in here, not nearly as rough though. I really like this though because I put it on, let it sit for about 30 seconds, 30 to 40 seconds, and then I rinse it off and my skin feels very, very soft. It doesn't feel dry. It feels like not only did it exfoliate, but it also added some moisture to my skin. So I really, really do like this. Um, it's one of the only exfoliators where I use it and I can't wait to use it again because it's that gentle on my skin. So I really, really do, do love using this. An exfoliator, you only need to use about twice, three times max. You know, depend, if you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't use more than three times a week. If you're a person where you have to exfoliate a lot, then use more. But listen to your skin. Your skin will let you know when you're exfoliating too much. And how you'll know you're exfoliating too much, if your skin starts flaking, if your skin is dry, even though you are drinking water and you're doing everything correctly. If your skin is, is like fighting against you, chances are you may be exfoliating too much. You don't need to exfoliate every single day. Next up is this Pixi Nourishing Cleansing Balm. What is a cleansing balm? Basically a cleansing oil. It's the first thing you are going to do at night. And that's if you're wearing sunscreen, which is what you should be doing, you are going to do this first, all right? Rub it in and it works for makeup. I hardly ever use makeup wipes anymore. I just put this on and it gets, it breaks up that first layer. I rinse it off and then I do a foaming cleanser. But this looks like this. It is a bomb. You just put it, dig in, and you put it on your face. Now, I didn't have this first. I actually had the double cleanse, which is a collaboration with Caroline Herons. And I find, I found that I like the actual cleansing balm better than the face, the face cleanser in there. So I was like, instead of buying a double cleanse, let me just buy this. And I absolutely love this. Neutrogena makes a cleansing oil. It has a pump. So if you don't want to pay as much for that, for this, they also have a much affordable option. Lastly, but definitely not least, something that you should always be repurchasing when it comes to your skincare routine is 
sunscreen. I don't care what sunscreen you use. This is one, I got this from Walmart, it's Banana Boat, it is SPF 30. SPF 30 or higher is the way I go. We have harsh sun here. And sunscreen is not just for if you're gonna spend hours in the sun. If you are walking from your front door to your car and your car happens to be, you know, parked on the street, in the driveway, parking garage, whatever, you need some sunscreen. If, you're, if you sit by a window where sun hits, you need sunscreen. You need sunscreen. Or reapply sunscreen every two hours if you're going to the beach, if you're gonna be outside for a while, every two hours. And apply at least 15 minutes before you leave because it takes 15 minutes for sunscreen to take effect into your skin. But this is something you should always, always have. This is a spray, I love it. If you're looking for a sunscreen that goes over makeup, I have tried this, it doesn't affect my makeup, but one that really, really proves to work on top of makeup, because when you put on sunscreen before you put on your makeup, but if you're gonna be out and you need to reapply it, which is what you should be doing, Pixie makes a sun mist that works great over makeup. It doesn't have a white cast, none of that. That worked really, really well. But I brought this in here because I am out of my sun mist. I need to repurchase it. But this is something very cheap. I think I pay like five bucks for a big, spray bottle of this and I really really do like it because it is a spray and you get an even distribution so yes those are my top skincare products it seems like a lot it seems like a lot but they all work really really well with each other on their own doing working with something else and it is all about layering if you want to know how to layer your skincare products I do have a skincare routine video that you can check out on my channel I do plan on doing an updated skincare routine video that will be up next week because I've introduced some new things and so I think it's important when you introduce new things. Do an updated skincare routine video so people can know what you're up to when it comes to your skin. And yes, pretty long video, didn't mean for it to be this long, but I hope you did enjoy it. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time. Bye.